The Narcissist Failed New Supply It looked like the narcissist rode off into the sunset. It looked like they began a happy new life with their new supply. But it's just an illusion. Just as it was when you were with them. Just remember what you had to deal with. There's no way that someone like that can move on and be happy with someone else. But even if they were, they always find some way to cause something to fail or go wrong. They always mess things up. It's like they can't get anything right. They're prone to failure. But just because it's happening, it doesn't mean they're going to let you see it. They want to portray a certain image to the world, an image of perfection, which is completely lacking in defects and flaws. So if their new supply isn't that physically attractive, they won't post a picture of their face. You won't see their new supply. But if they are attractive, you will see pictures of them because they want to raise their general impression to a higher standard. They want to upgrade their false image. They want to improve their relative social and professional position. They've got a new attractive source of supply. So it makes them look good. But if their new source isn't attractive, you won't see them. You will never know what they look like. They might post a picture to reveal to you that they're with someone else, but you'll never get a good shot of their face. Because they don't want you to see that. It doesn't make them look good. They're not really proud of the new source. They know they're not all that. But they will still find a way to post something. When the narcissist has a good source of supply, they're always posting pictures. And it may just be pictures of their new bags or shoes. Their new source is paying for everything. Because the narcissist knows how to make someone feel really good. They know how to make you feel like you're in possession of something that is very valuable and important. So the new source is constantly giving them whatever they want. And the narcissist needs someone like that around. They need someone who has a lot of money. Because most narcissists are not good with money. They're heedless of the consequences of their own actions. They will spend it all without thinking anything of it. They're very impulsive. They will buy things suddenly without thinking about it carefully first. So they don't save any money. They will spend all of this money that belongs to their new source. But if you could see their bank balance, it would be zero, nil. Because they spend in such a silly and foolish way. They're not good with money. 
So it may look like they've moved on and they found someone with money and things are going well. But if you check back in with them after some time, they will have spent everything. There won't be any money left. No matter what they have, they always find a way to screw it up. Which is why many of them will go silent. They'll be quiet. Because everything they did to you was part of their scheme. Where they had to use you to get what they wanted from you, it was all a part of their plan. And they also have a planned series of future events which revolve around them getting what they want again. So they already know that they have an expiry date with this new supply. They know that it's going to end at some point because that's the only way that they can get what they want. They can't live in harmony with another person because they only care about themselves. Their needs have to be priority and no one is going to be able to tolerate that for a long period of time without any disturbances or interruptions. It's never going to run smoothly for them unless they take what they have and run with it. And they know this. They know that at some point people are going to get fed up of dealing with them because if it was the other way around, they know that they would never have put up with the things that they were doing to you. So eventually the new supply is going to get fed up. They're going to experience the effects of dealing with a narcissist. They're going to experience a lot of anxiety and distress. They're going to experience weight loss or weight gain because the narcissist is very toxic. They put you under a lot of stress. They will go from eating at fine dining restaurants and wearing Gucci and Prada to eating McDonald's and wearing unbranded clothes. You will see a gradual loss of quality and value because now they're looking for bargains. But you may not see it initially because you're so emotionally invested. But after some time, things will gradually start to go down. They will look untidy and unhealthy. They won't want to be seen anymore because something has gone wrong. And they may even try to come back to you because their new supply is no longer having the same effect on them anymore. It's become normal to them. It's become usual, typical and expected. The narcissist has gotten used to it. So it's boring now. They're taking it for granted. Like they do with everything. They don't appreciate it. It starts off strong in the beginning, but it gradually dies out. Because sometimes the new supply is just as bad as the narcissist. They're often just as harmful and unpleasant, so it's not going to last long. Because they often end up with other narcissists, people who are seducing them, people who are deceiving them. And it might look good in the beginning because they're both love bombing each other, but eventually their selfish ways will destroy the relationship. And when they try to get back in contact with you again, that's a sign that their new supply has failed. The narcissist will create an orchestration 
they will plan and coordinate the elements of the situation to produce the desired effect. Rather than showing off their new supply as a way of provoking envy in you. Because their new supply isn't on your level. And they will often try to make their new supply envious and jealous of you. They will try to make them mad at you. They will get them worked up with so much hatred and hostility towards you. To the point where they may even try to attack you. And you may not have known anything about it. You may not have done anything wrong. But the narcissist has told them all of these things about you. They have pitted you against each other. They have set you in conflict and competition with their new supply. Because they get off on it. It amuses them. It makes them feel better about themselves. Sometimes the narcissist won't return to you. And that means that you have won. You have defeated the narcissist. Because they can't face you. They haven't got the courage to confront you. They've taken a fall. They've declined. And they don't want you to see that. They don't want you to have the last laugh. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coach inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.